Hello, my friends. My name is Cheryl Spangler, and this podcast explores the question, what does Northern Virginia have to offer me? This podcast is about one of the most important things in your life right now, and that is the air quality that you breathe. If you're thinking or have ever wondered about whether you have mold in your apartment, in your business, in your restaurant, in your office building, I don't care where, in your residential home, wherever you live or rent or work, you should consider getting a mold air test. And the reason is because right now there are there's a large amount of people that have decided they don't want to sell their house they or they can't sell their house and the selling the seller's market is still still exists it's just that they don't maybe have a place to go or they just have decided let's just wait because they if they sell where are they gonna go right they have to buy a place and it's still not perfect buyers market so the point is the number of people selling has reduced the number of people buying have reduced. They're deciding to stay. And when you stay, there might be existing issues. And a lot of people, this is like a massive increase in potential water issues in the state of Virginia, whether it's from flooding of the streets, the rain we've had, just an ongoing issue you never dealt with, roofs are failing, like this happens all the time. But I'm just saying right now, there is an increase in the number of residential and rental and commercial places that are having existing mold. And they could be in restaurants you eat at every single day you don't even know. And you can find out actually all the restaurants that have failed inspection based on mold. And I'm gonna link them in this podcast description. I'm gonna link every county in Northern Virginia and, it, and it'll have every restaurant that has failed inspection and for the reason of mold. If you are renting somewhere, you should have and go pay for your own mold test. You should pay for an air quality test. And if you see visual mold, you should pay for a, a physical mold test. Do not scrimp on this. Yes, it might cost you $300 for an inspection. It might cost you $135 for every kind of test, but you only need to do one air sample test per 1,000 square feet of your home. So technically, you really only need two samples and one inspection to know whether you are literally breathing moldy air. It's definitely worth it. If you own a business and you're sitting on the fact that you have a cooler in the back where your food sits, that you think might have mold, do not wait another week. Do not let consumers come in and order food and sit in your restaurant while they're breathing moldy air, possibly eating moldy food. As a consumer, you need to be more educated in what restaurants are failing their inspections, what they're failing for, really. If there are doors that enter into the back of a restaurant, you need to be looking to see if they're on the list that has failed the inspection. And if you live in an apartment and your landlord's responsible for your place, you still need to take it upon yourself to get at least, at the very least, an air sample done. It takes one day to get the results back and you know every bacteria that is in your air. And then you can decide, how do I clean it? Maybe I get an air purifier. There's all these different inexpensive solutions. And if you're in a single family home, if you have a basement or no basement, it doesn't matter, any home, when you first move into a home, Everyone should be taking it upon themselves to get a very simple mold inspection and an air quality sample test. It is super cheap considering you could have respiratory issues for the rest of your life or pay $135 to get an air sample done. Your choice. I just thought I'd mention this because mold is becoming a huge, huge issue. Here's an example. In the state of Virginia in 2021, all the schools in every county had a mandate by the governor of Virginia that they get mold testing done. Obviously there's mold in our schools. There's mold in the schools that isn't being taken care of. And for whatever reason, there was a statewide mandate that all the schools in all counties are to get mold testing, even if they have already had it two years earlier. So 
this is really, really important. And I think that part of that was because the school, the kids were out of the schools for like two years. So a lot of them sat during the COVID time and then they're having them like do new mold testing. But this is just an example of, it's a really important issue that we've let slide. You, if you live in a home and you've never done an air sample, call right now. A company that you can go to, Secure Home Inspections. You can go online right now. You live in Northern Virginia, you can Google Secure Home Inspections and they do mold testing. They'll get someone out there literally the next day, $300 for an inspection, $135 for an air sample, and you'll know what you're breathing in literally two days. I think that everyone who owns a home, everyone who buys a home, and before you sell a home, and everyone who rents an apartment, condo, townhome, or single family needs to go right now and get an air sample taken. You need to know what you're breathing. Anyway, I know I get on these rants and <laughs> you're on the receiving end of it. I'm just trying to inform people of all the different things that could keep you healthy or that could be affecting your health while living in Virginia. And I will talk to you guys in the next podcast.